just reset where we are for a moment, because I do think this is actually a little su surprising twist that we are seeing right here. Again, what had happened right before we just had this surprise development um, is that the fourth Democratic amendment had been voted down on a party line vote. We've seen uh, amendments asking for subpoenas for White House documents, State Department documents, OMB documents. This is a subpoena to Mick Mulvaney, which was just voted down. Um, we had received word that the fifth Democratic amendment was ready to go. It was going to be a subpoena for Defense Department documents. Documents. But Mitch McConnell uh, stopped, stepped in and interrupted the process, essentially said, I, I will, I will uh, slightly mischaracterize his remarks to make clear the way they landed, uh, <laughs> which is to say that he basically said, we're done with this. This is how long is this going to go on? How many of these amendments are there going to be? How late are you going to make us stay up? Let's stack these. As Claire described, that meant they were going to get through them quickly. Um, Senator Schumer's response to this is interesting, though. We haven't yet talked about the implications of this. He said, no, we're not going to stack these. We are going to get a vote on every single one of these. But he did say, if you want to come back and do this tomorrow, we can, right. which would lengthen the overall process for how long the impeachment trial is going to go. And it would seem that part of the Republican strategy here is to make it go as fast as possible. Does that right. seem fair? That's exactly right. Um, and in, I, I Laura Dove is her name. I don't want to call her the woman in yellow again, so let me get that in. And Gary Myrick, and they're technically called the secretary for the majority and the, and the minority. Um, yeah, that's, Chuck is trying to make sure that the case he's trying to make, not just to some Republicans that he might get to waiver on documents and witnesses, but the case he's making to the American people that they have adequate time to present this compelling case about the need for witnesses and documents. And he doesn't feel any need to short circuit that. And if Mitch doesn't want to continue to work tonight, then they have the option of extending this process and allowing them to do the amendments. It would have to be tomorrow afternoon because I believe the court has an argument in the morning. It does. Yes. Uh, the Supreme Court has an argument. The Supreme Court has an argument in the morning. So they wouldn't be able to start until one o'clock, yep. which means the, how, the the cases wouldn't begin until probably the following day, but which would be extending that a day to the tally. And you know what they're in a race for? They're in a race to get this in before the State of the Union. Yeah. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.